So what's the sound for the heart? The heart is not just the organ that pumps in her chest. In Chinese medicine, we consider it also as our mind, our consciousness, our thinking. So we have to really sort of let go of a kind of mentation that takes place in order for the heart to kind of open, relax. And this allows the blood to flow and for the chi to begin to, to really begin to move in the body. That's the principle that we know in Qigong. So when we speak about the heart, we speak about the heart mind. It's never just the heart and it's never just the mind. Any sort of uh, strokes um, and difficulties up here are related to the heart as well. Of course, they are also in Western medicine, which is interesting. So I wanted to speak about not just the heart, but also, remember our heart finger, which is the middle finger, which is also the pericardium, which relates to the heart and is this is actually the finger for the whole pericardium channel, and then the heart also. So um, let's actually experience the sound, which is the sound ho. Oh. And the heart ascends, it goes up. So like our mind, our mind also ascends, it's like a, a flame going upwards. That's the action of the heart, so it ascends. The heart is our blood and our consciousness that ascends. So we have this mudra, we put these fingers together, and then we join, actually, also the heart finger. And we cross the middle finger, right, which is the pericardium. And this is the mudra, and it sort of looks like this. It sort of takes a little bit of careful mental activity to be able to make this mudra. So we sort of let go and we make the sound whole. And we return. Again. It's interesting too because the heart sound is also related to the emotion of happiness. And it ascends, right? If we're happy, we sort of have this upward lifted movement that happens in our bodies. And interestingly, the first sound that we, we did in the series of sounds is the sound right for the lung, which is the sound s which is a sound that almost presses down. And it's interesting that the, that the motion for the lungs is sadness. So within the sound, we have actually a movement. We can feel the downward push. And in the sound whole, we feel the upward movement. So it's very interesting that within the sound itself, is contained a kind of movement, is contained a kind of energy that we begin to sort of investigate. So remembering, one, three, cross, 
joining the heart meridian right here at the wrist. And returning. So, more or less, that's the sound of the heart. <laughs>